remember running to the uh, pediatrician often with my kids when they developed ear infections. This is a scourge of childhood, and uh, usually a course of amoxicillin takes care of the problem. Now, ear infections are pretty common, and they're usually secondary to a cold. And what happens is that viruses, which cause a cold, uh, kind of uh, travel up the eustachian tube to the ear, and ear gets infected. And this is very often followed by a bacterial infection. And that, of course, is what the antibiotics treat. They don't treat the, the viruses. And these days, of course, uh, we try to get away from using antibiotics all that often because there's always a risk of developing resistance. And now researchers in Finland have come up with a possible solution to the problem. What they've discovered is that children who regularly chew gum that contains xylitol, which is a sweetener, and the reason that it is used in gums is because xylitol cannot be used by bacteria in our teeth as food, and therefore we reduce the incidence of, uh, of cavities. What they found is that xylitol reduces, in some cases pretty dramatically, the risk of ear infections. Who could have ever thought of that? Well, here's a possible explanation. For some reason, xylitol prevents bacteria from sticking to the back of the tongue from where they travel up the eustachian tube to the ear. How much gum do you have to chew? Well, it turns out that in the case of kids who come down with recurrent ear infections, just chewing about three pieces of sugarless gum on a regular basis every day dramatically reduces the risk of this. And there's an even added benefit. You can learn some science. Xylitol has a large negative heat of solution. So when you're chewing on this thing, you find that your mouth really cools down. So there's some thermodynamics involved there too. So good luck with those ear infections. Chew away.